Hello, welcome to this My Drum Lessons um, video, just really explaining how to use the lesson structure um, and the videos. Um, so really, these are just a great resource that are there as part of the service that My Drum Lessons provides to make, th to make things easy for you so you can actually deliver a really, really great drum teaching service without having to put in too much effort yourself. Um, you know, it can take a lot of time to plan lessons, to, to kind of write them up, to, to print them out and you know, all of this stuff um, takes time, takes money um, and really stops you doing other things. You could be out there teaching more lessons earning more money or you could be playing your drums, you know, which we all love to do. So these are a really great resource and we want you to get the most out of them so they're really, really most effective for you. Um, now, you don't have to use these lessons at all, they're there for you, you can kind of dip into them. I've seen different people um, learn at different rates, so you might find some people will be able to go through the structure, it'll make sense for them. Some people will jump around a bit more, or um, as well, I think it's important with lessons to not be afraid to go off, off piece sometimes. So, I might have something planned and a student comes in and says, I've just heard this great track on the radio, how does that guy do that feel? How does he do this drum beat? You know, I want to learn this. Um, whatever, I think, well, great. You know, we'll come, whatever I planned, we'll come back to it in a, in a week or two. Let's do the thing that you're passionate about and motivated about. Because at the end of the day, they're learning drums, they're enjoying it. That's the main thing. As long as they're progressing and they're staying passionate about it, then I think, I personally think you're doing a good job with that. Um, so you, you don't have to use the lessons in order. You don't have to use them at all, but they're there. Um, one thing you might notice is that the lessons are actually grouped in levels. So you've got level zero, and then from there on, one, two, three, four, etc. Um, that just gives you a little guide as to, to where you are. For the student as well, it can be quite nice, because they can kind of feel themselves progressing. When they get to the end of level zero, you go, right, you're ready to move on to level one. So it's not like this endless stream of stuff. There's these nice, clear levels that they're... They're moving up through every few weeks, so, so they get a good sense of achievement there. Um, but as well for you, it helps just kind of keep track of where they are, how they're progressing, um, see, you know, maybe how they're moving through the lessons, and you can kind of plan ahead to the future for them. Um, now, this also helps with the planning um, of this. So, always, you know, if you've got several students for that day, um, to be most efficient, you can look through... Um, the lesson plans and have a think about where that student is and think about what they want to be doing in that next lesson and then print the lessons out ready so when they turn up you, you're already there. Um, as I said they might have other ideas or some days they might want to go back over something from last week and that takes a whole lesson or, or whatever but um, you know if you've got the stuff already printed out that can really help. Um, it's worth having a lot of these printed out in advance as well so I've actually got a folder printed out um, if you've already got, you know, like four or five of each lesson out, put them in plastic sleeves um, in your folder or a concertina folder, list them alphabetically or list them in order of how you would most likely progress through the lessons, you know, so lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, etc. Um, again, that makes it very easy. And also if they want to jump ahead to something else and it kind of fits or, or whatever, you've got them there and it's nicely organised. Um, so... Um, the other, thing, the other thing that's great with this whole lesson plan structure is it's all written out there. It's always got the My Drum Lessons branding on the top. It's got the logo. It's got the web address. Um, so at the end of the lesson, if you've printed it out, you can, you can um, give that to the student and they take it home. Perfect. You know, so they're, if, they're, if they're a child, their parents are going to love that because it looks professional. It looks like a serious business. So that looks good. You can also send them a PDF if you wanted to do that. Um, you know, the, 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 there's no way, you know, electronics are becoming more and more popular. So if people are learning from, they've got a laptop by their kit or they've got a tablet, uh, they've got an iPad, or, you know, you can send them the PDF as well. So that's another option. Again, it looks good, it looks professional. Most independent teachers don't do that stuff. Um, so it, it's all good. Um, Another, another thing that's probably wise to do from day one is to just keep a note of what they've done. So if you've got uh, something like Microsoft Excel or, or whatever software you like to use, um, 
just just keep a log of that pupil, have a folder for them, open it up, have a folder, just keep track of what they've learned, you know, where they are. Um, that makes it very easy for you. Every lesson, every lesson, you can just update that, keep track of where they are, and then it keeps very, it's, it's just a very easy way for you to keep track of where you are. So you can always refer to that and instantly you can see all the lessons they've done, um, when they did them, see how they're progressing and keep track of stuff. Otherwise, you know, after a, a few months, they're just going to turn up with a folder full of stuff and it takes you a while to look through it and figure out what they've done. Or, in many cases, they've lost stuff. So you don't even know what they've done. They can't remember because they've been playing Xbox and, you know, whatever. So you actually lose track of what they've covered um, and, and therefore what they should be doing in future lessons. So by using our lesson plan and, and by keeping it all organised and structured, you'll be able to deliver a much more professional and efficient drum teaching service which will keep them coming back they'll keep them recommending you to other people word of mouth obviously is a huge uh, benefit in this kind of business um, and it will keep the parents happy so get into good habits from day one and s save yourself a lot of time and hassle good luck with it